it's a it's about content management system and how joomla as a joomla programmer or as a joomla developer how you can extend joomla to create different websites so basically joomla is a uh, web based content management system out of box that is if you install joomla in 5 minutes you have a website running you don't have to do anything at all other than configuring on the admin side for few second few tweaks and it's even simpler because it has its own installer so it's like an application simple executable exx application where you use do double click and install the application it's this simple when you use joomla as a cms software but my idea was to use joomla as application framework why application framework because joomla cms is built upon a framework that joomla provides so for us developers uh it is a framework which we can use it provides us a way to extend it by giving us components modules templates and apis which means by using the joomla framework we can create all together different websites different look and feel and a, it it will help us develop the website faster if you use this joomla template or joomla application framework when we say framework to understand a framework there are three things that are required first we must be able to understand on a website there are three things how the data is passed from one end to another before you get it and you process it so that is one one flow that is a one flow that we need to know the flow of data in the framework second the database that it uses in the back end and third is apis in this session i will only covering the first two parts that is flow and the database apis you can read online the model implemented here is mvc see as in simple M uh, mvc model we have a model okay we have a controller and we have a view now it's not 100% mvc as in purely 100% mvc style of segregation is not there as it has been implemented in java or other languages here in it's a mix when it comes to uh, one flow of control as in always the only file that will be called the controller file will always be called will be index.php the controller in this case is index.php it controls all the flow then you have templates which are acting as a view for your website and all those models are either in modules or components which actually represent your data or how to process that data the knowledge is with components or modules modules are again a simple way of views not really uh, uh models models are exactly in the components so in this the way they have implemented is we have a framework wherein the flow is from index.php always all these files will be loaded so you have a set of apis that you can use and that's a one part of a framework that provides it provides you with a ready to use apis for the common problems like database abstraction uh, valid user validations data validations and then you know uh, cross site scripting security features like that session management things like that so that is all taken care by the flow actual flow initially when these those files are loaded up and actually when you get the control you will see the in the flow <coughs> see if we still haven't actually reached the actual logic my program will be implemented in components my program or my logic will be implemented in components in modules and in templates they will know where will be in this flow so it is kind of overhead also if you want to improve your speed and you don't need all these things even then they all these will be loaded every time a request is sent to a joomla website all these steps will be taken which ensures that your data will be properly uh, validated basically sanitized and uh all those api functionalities that uh, joomla provides you can use it